Hi what's up? This is your daily dose of Twitch. But before we get into the video, if you see your own clip being used in the video, and you want it to get removed, send me an email, and I'll do my best to remove it as soon as possible. If you want to send me your clip, don't be shy and just do it. And if you like my channel and don't want to miss any video click on the subscribe button. And now enjoy the video ha 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 ha. Many more. Are you threatened? I mean, I've been threatened before too, yeah. Again, you should be thankful for the NBA letting him ride the pine while he waits 10 years to get citizenship. I have. I haven't in, a, in many years, but like I have in the past. Yeah. I've talked about it before. I, I, when I wrote the article about the coup d'etat in, in Turkey on Huffington Post, I got a Abitov CSE from a prominent Turkish journalist, okay? Who was uh, talking months, wait, at the wait, behest wait, of uh, larger forces at play and originally approached me to give me money to write another article that was in support of Adelon. And I was like, nope, that's not happening. And then when that didn't work the way that they wanted it to work, they were like, well, you know, your family lives in Turkey. This was many years ago, and I haven't really, I mean, I haven't written on Huffington Post in a while. My Clips channel had a lot of issues where we were getting like 900k views in a day, and then it just collapsed to 100k. Like, look at this. All of our videos, I don't even care about showing money, but all of our videos just fucking died. Okay? They, like, look at this. Spike up, dead. Sorry, hold on. Yeah, spike up and dead all on the same day, November 14th. And we're like... Like, look at this flat <coughs> dead <coughs> dead and we're like yo what's going on and like me a creator of my size i tried to contact like higher 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 ups at youtube the same people that negotiate these multi-million dollar deals with me and it's been two weeks and they haven't helped me like at all because YouTube is clearly primarily a VOD platform st like streaming will always be a bit better on Twitch because Twitch is primarily a live streaming platform when you specialize in something you're always going to be like a little ahead at it and the other thing is like although people who are established can stream just fine on YouTube. And this is not considering like culture differences, chat differences, things like that, which are individual to the person and what they prefer. But aside from that, what I have yet to see on YouTube is them create enough of a community for like a small streamer or someone up and coming to blow up on YouTube. The only thing that really happens is like, if you're already established and then you play a popular game, like there's Among Us era, but there's no one actually coming up through the YouTube live streaming platform in the same way that people do like on Twitch, just by networking through LSF or through anything. You think this means to the platform? Nothing. I, I think even if XQC tomorrow announced that he was the next one leaving, I don't know if he is or anything like that. But if he announced that he was leaving tomorrow, Twitch wouldn't fight for him. They wouldn't care. They'd actually probably be relieved because they probably look at him as a brand risk. They have banned that guy fucking 30 times or some shit by now. They would not care. That is the impression I get from that department. They do not care. They have lost, what is it, five of the top 25 streamers over the last six months? I think X is very much an exception in the sense that Twitch will pay to keep him because he's a very unique streamer who can play anything and get 60k plus viewers. No one else is really like that. People can get more viewers, but always doing the exact same thing. Those are two different things. And I don't think he's such a brand risk that Twitch doesn't want him. I don't think he's that bad. So yeah, I actually really, really disagree with this take. And I think, mm, I think Twitch offers people what makes sense for them to offer those people. And so does YouTube. YouTube does a ton of research, obviously, to offer people a certain amount. But so does Twitch. Some shit. And I think Ludwig said something. Or I don't know if this was quoted by someone or paraphrased, but it said... I didn't particularly feel loved by Twitch. 
And it's like, there's no shot. There's no shots coming out of all those guys' mouths, right? Those motherfuckers are the goddamn poster children of Twitch. They're on the front page every other fucking week. Every fucking show that Twitch sponsors or hosts, they're on it. They get paid like six different bags by Twitch. I'm sitting here for 15 fucking years. Motherfuckers, I'm their goddamn fucking incest of a son that's chained in the basement. Regardless of all that I do, I'm... Uh, what the fuck do you mean didn't feel a pre... If you... What? I'm pretty big on YouTube. I don't know if I would, I would say that I'm way bigger on Twitch compared to all of Twitch than I think I am on YouTube compared to all of YouTube. That'd be my guess. And I make 5X the money on YouTube that I do on Twitch. Like, that's not an exact, that might be an under exact, that's not an exaggeration. That's not including, by the way, that's not including my YouTube streaming at all. Just going by my ad revenue on my channel, I make 5x the money on YouTube than I do on Twitch, without including streaming. YouTube was fear. YouTube's not Facebook, no offense. <laughs> it's not Whoa. Mixer. Whoa. Ludwig, I'll have you know that in the later stream report, okay, okay, between Facebook gaming and YouTube gaming taken by Streamlabs, the highest bastion of integrity says Facebook gaming have overtaken YouTube gaming. Okay, so, you know, I better check your facts before you go off saying stuff you don't understand. I think I might be the largest dual streamer. Not that that's necessarily impressive because other people just don't. But I'm probably the largest dual streamer on both platforms. That'd be my guess. Um, unless there's somebody that I don't know about. The most common complaint used to be that Twitch streaming was where the discoverability was at. That is absolutely not true right now on YouTube. Someone in my chat just said it. The only real problem YouTube has is there's no discovery like on Twitch. If I put the right title in my YouTube stream and we're covering like big shit, I will fucking shoot up in YouTube videos. It's in, in YouTube views. It's huge. Um, like when I've been covering big stuff over the past month, my YouTube discoverability has been better than my Twitch discoverability. Um, not to mention, technically, discoverability on Twitch is actually non-existent unless you're one of the top, top, top um, streamers. There is no discoverability. Uh, look at Imaru. Dog died, cat died, bus delayed, train derailed, wife left, don't have any money left, take everything I got. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god.